also. How do you do that? You start screen sharing. Yeah, you know, like recording. Oh, you're recording it. It's right there. Let's start recording. Is it time to start? Thank you, Sam. Is it time to start? Yes, it is. talking. Okay, well, Lord, we just uh, thank you for favor. We declare your favor. Lord, we just pray for your, your guidance. We thank you in Jesus' name. All right, let's go. Okay, hello, everybody. It's 10 o'clock Eastern Time, and my name is Casey Stubbs, and I'm here with Nathan and we're getting ready to start our Winner's Edge Trading Advanced Forex Training Webinar and I just wanted to do a quick sound check to make sure you guys can hear me okay so if you can hear me just um, put in the yes okay well that's plenty fantastic alright uh, so before we begin, I just wanted to start by thanking you all for coming and welcoming you to our webinar. The next thing I want, would like to, to mention is that this was a very high demand event. We had about 2,000 people sign up and our room only holds 1,000 people. So the event very well could be at full capacity. So if you get in and then you leave you might lose your seat due to the high demand of the event and so I would recommend that if you are here that you should stay in so you, that you don't have a chance of losing your seat uh, so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get started now okay first I'm gonna introduce myself a little bit uh, my name's Casey Stubbs and I'm uh, the founder of Winner's Edge Trading, and I got two pictures of myself there. A uh, picture of me in the Army. I was in the Army before I did this. And then there's a picture of me now. And, you know, I've come through a long journey to become a, a professional trader. And, you know, that journey started with me learning from other traders. I've had two extremely great mentors, people that you know are tr still training traders and training you know hedge fund traders and and you know a lot of money invested in education and things like that to advance my training skills uh, so I was just showed you this picture here to get you to get you the idea that I have gone through a process to let you understand that this has taken some time uh, for me to develop these skills and it was at me seeking out professionals and looking to them those that have already paved the way looking to them to increase my skill set so that I could go to the next level um, and also I'm going to show another picture here of myself this is me at home with my family I've got uh, eight children I'm married with eight children um, so you know having that the time to spend with the family is extremely important and that's why I value having my own business and I value uh, being able to trade so much because I need that time to have some freedom to, to spend with my, my family and kids. Uh, also, I wanted to introduce uh, Nathan, Nathan Tusi. He's been working for me for about three years now. And if you look at the top picture on the left, that was Nathan, like his first day on the job. Um, I took him to the New York Traders Expo so he could get access to all of the professional traders uh, that attend the New York Experts. So we went to New York. He was learning from the best of the best and because I was going to take the time to mentor him. And I actually did an interview there and we talked to, about it. It's actually on our website about how his skills have advanced. That's about three years ago. Um, so are you guys able to see the pictures right now? I just got a, a message that nobody can see it. Okay, great. So, you know, Nathan also has gone through a process, and I, when I hired him on, I wanted to take him and get him access to, to the best traders so that he could learn from the best. Um, so, you know, um, there's a picture of Nathan there to the right. He enjoys golf in his spare time, and 
th just thought I'd throw that in there. So, you know, Nathan has learned from me, he's learned from other traders, and both one thing that me and him have in common is that we have learned from excellent traders, and that's why we have the skills that we have today. Uh, so, you know, Nathan, as a result of this training that he's received, he's now running the daily analysis on the Winner's Edge website. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Probably many of you guys are members of that daily analysis that he sends out in his email every day. It's a video uh, analysis on the stock, on the Forex market. Excuse me there. And uh, Nathan has over 6,000 people that get his analysis every day. The popularity of the analysis, because it's so effective and it's so accurate, has grown to over 6,000 people. And in addition to that daily analysis, he also is in charge of many of our training programs here at Winner's Edge. And he's also trading uh, our corporate account live with real money. So, you know, he's gone through that process. He's been mentored in, and is, he's been able to see the results of that training. And, you know, he's it's not because he's such a smart guy, but it's because he's had access to the right information and the right people. Okay, so now that I did the introduction, talked a little bit about us, showed you who we are and, and why we're where we're at today, I want to talk about the purpose of this webinar, and that is to make this the best and most informative and profitable trading webinar that you've ever attended. You know, we've been in a lot of these training webinars, and a lot of times, you know, it seems like the guys that are presenting the webinar, nothing against them, there's a lot of good training out there, but it seems like they're not giving out the best stuff. Well, today we want to give out our best stuff to, to you. We want you to be able to have some incredible information that you're going to be able to take away from this and say, wow, I really learned a lot today. I'm going to be able to apply that to my trading and become a better trader. And so what I want you to do is to focus solely on this presentation. I want you to put away all your other surfing activities you know you know reading news whatever else it is and focus on this training today because we have put in our best for you today we have we're holding nothing back we want this to be an incredible webinar with over the top information so that you are extremely beneficial we want you to be the main beneficiary of this webinar today so with that being said i want to go over the the agenda we're going to go over a few key points. Uh, we're going to talk about the right way to trade the market. Nathan is going to be starting off with that. And then Nathan's also going to be talking about uh, the one thing that will sabotage your profit. Those two techniques that he's going to be sharing today are extremely valuable. They are pillars to our trading strategy that we use every single day that without them, we wouldn't be where we're at. And so we're giving you those two pillars today, and we want you to be able to, to to go after it. So uh, Nathan's going to be talking about those and then I'm going to be following up with uh, talking about our proprietary trading tools that we've developed and then finally we're going to have a special offer today. Uh, it's going to be uh, a lot of value. Uh, just doing that a, a disclaimer that yes we are going to sell something today but that's not the focus of this webinar. The focus is that we want to give you incredible value and you know what at the end if you don't want to hear the offer that's okay because our ultimate goal is to give you the free training and to give you our best and if we do that we've accomplished our goal for this webinar because remember we we're here to benefit you and to train you and that's our whole purpose of this webinar um, and we're going to be adding some extra value for those of you that want to to uh, go that next level then that's fine Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to Nathan, and he's going to start right now. All right, guys, uh, let me just do one more sound check here. If you can put a yes in to make sure that you hear me before I get going. <clears throat> All right, awesome. Great. Well, again, uh, just thank you guys for being here. Thanks for the introduction, Casey. And uh, I'm looking at our numbers right now as far as attendees. I do think that this is the uh, biggest webinar that we've ever had and, uh, and so I'm excited about that. Okay, so uh, again we talked about the purpose. We want to really make this the best and most informative trading webinar you've ever been to. As a matter of fact, uh, normally Thursdays I'm actually in a, a mentor session with a, with a private group of students 
and I pass it off to someone else, to another guy in our team, just so I could be here in this webinar today and uh, introduce the information here, and, and also introduce the um, you know the offer that we're going to give you. But that really is secondary to our training. Okay, so let's just start off with some uh, some fundamental stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and assume that the reason you're in the webinar is because you're not a consistently profitable trader, but you want to be. And so if you just put a yes in the box, if that's your main objective, then then we'll, I'll know that we're all on the same page here. Um, because if that's not the main objective, then we should probably go ahead and exit the webinar now. But yes, okay, so I'm getting a stream of yeses. Um, again, probably more yeses than we ever get in a webinar because it's pretty packed in here. And that's great, guys, because that really is our goal for you too. And um, not to be deceiving because I don't think that one 45 minute webinar or hour long webinar is going to be everything you need to be a profitable trader. I'm just not that naive based on what I've gone through to get to, my, to the point where I'm at. But I think that this is going to be an incredible starting block and an incredible platform uh, for you guys to begin understanding some things you can do to be a profitable trader. So uh, I hope that that's what you're ready for. I hope you're ready for some great building blocks um, because that's what we're going to give you today. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share basically the strategy that we use to make consistent profitable trades. Now, again, it's 45 minutes or an hour. It's not you know 12 hours, so some stuff's going to be left out, but we're going, to, we're going to focus on the best stuff. And I think this is going to shed a lot of light on why you're not a consistently profitable trader. I think that you know there's some critical things in here that people simply don't understand, whether it's because uh, you know they're trying to figure it out on their own or they've had bad training in the past. Uh, maybe they've been hearing a lot of stuff from marketers online who have no idea how to trade. Um, whatever the case is, there's a lot of people who aren't profitable, and I think this is going to shed some light on that. Okay, now by the way, this is a big disclaimer. This is what we consider consistently profitable. Okay, so there's a losing lump in there. You can see these are my stats uh, year to date from trading the strategy that we're actually going to be teaching you. Um, and so notice that I'm not talking about 80% a month profit. Uh, I'll just go ahead and share with you that that does not exist, you know, and if you have been hearing from these people who are talking about doubling your account every month, um, actually, I got an email the other day for a binary options course that was to make 250% in two hours. That is actually not an exaggeration. That's a real email that I got, make 250% in two hours. And so it's not surprising that so many people are confused when we're getting things like that, guys. That's not possible. If that was possible, people would become billionaires in months and they would be the richest people in the world okay there's a reason that that's not the case okay warren buffett you know is making 12 to 15 percent a year and he's the third richest man in the world or maybe he moved down to fourth but he is one of the richest men in the world making 12 to 15 percent a year and so i think that we can do better than 12 to 15 percent a year um, using the, the forex market until your account gets too big to to trade in that kind of liquidity or with that kind of leverage but anyway about 7% a month average is what we consider extremely good, extremely profitable. Um, and so if you're looking for something like way bigger than 7%, then you're probably in the wrong place today because we're not offering anything that we're suggesting can make you 30 or 40 or 50% a month. Okay, so this is what we consider consistently profitable. And again, these are my stats um, year to date, and I'm pretty happy with them. You can see that April, we're only in the 4th of April, and I'm up 12%. Uh, that's because of a trade that I actually held mainly in March and happened to close out on the 1st of April, in case you're wondering about that little uh, cliche there. But anyway, uh, here's why we're happy with those returns. This is why 7% a month is, is more than good enough for us. And you can see that uh, if you assume a $10,000 investment, 7% a month takes you to a millionaire in six years. Okay, now if that is a reasonable growth expectation for you, if, that, if you're interested in that kind of growth, Again, just give me a yes because I, I want to make sure that we're on the same page. It, you know, if, if someone could tell you that they can teach you a strategy that can average around that, um, hopefully, hopefully you guys are interested. And again, I'll just say it. You know, if you're not interested in that, you're not in the right place because you know that is obviously incredible growth, and um, and it's not it's not necessarily um, you know going to be seven percent every month. It's going to be three percent months, two percent months, losing months. 12% month, it's going to be back and forth, but we're talking about an average here. And so um, those are the kind of returns. And um, again, I'm seeing a ton of yeses, so that lets me know that we're in the right place today, and I'm happy to hear that. Okay, now, now that we got that in perspective, we kind of went through our, our beginning phase. Now that we put that in perspective, let's teach you exactly what we're doing to make those gains. All right, does that sound good? 
the most important thing to recognize about the market is how it moves, okay? Not recognizing, you know, random little things. The, the most important thing to understand is the nature of the market. If you can understand the nature of the market, you have a much better chance of trading it profitably. If you don't understand the market, then everything you do is just going to be a coin flip, gamble type trade. Um, it's not going to have any real purpose to it. But if you understand the nature of the market, then you have a heck of a lot better chance at trading it with any kind of consistency or profitability. Okay, so of course so that begs the question: How does the market move? You know what? In what way? What is the nature of the market? And there's probably a lot of different answers that you know you could say right now that would be uh, accurate or at least somewhat accurate. But the overall nature of the market is that it moves from level to level, and that means whether it's trending or it's sideways, it is moving from level to level. And by the way, guys, um, I, I have a few questions here, not a lot, but if you can hold questions to the end, that'll help me so that we can get through the good stuff and then hit the questions at the end. If you don't mind waiting for those, I greatly appreciate it. Um, we do have a recording of the webinar, so we'll send that out for people who want to watch the recording. Um, we are doing a recording. Okay. So here we have a trend, and here we have a sideways market. Either way, it moves from level to level. Here it's breaking a level, then retesting a level, breaking a level, then retesting a level. Here it's just bouncing from level to level. Okay, so that is how the market moves. In a very basic, generic sense, the market moves from level to level. Now, unfortunately for us, it's not always this clean and neat. If, 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 if the market moved exactly like this, and this clearly from level to level, uh, we'd probably all be millionaires but it doesn't move quite like this more it looks something like this where we have zones we have trend lines even little wedges and the market is chopping kind of in between but overall it's moving from level to level so let's start from left to right here okay this is the euro dollar daily by the way we move up into a level okay this is a, this is a zone that i'm getting from the weekly chart by the way bounces back down into this level then it spikes up doesn't quite get to the next level pulls back for a retest gets into the next level then it comes down, sits on the level, kind of does another fake, but then breaks the level. Notice that after it breaks, it comes up for another retest of the level before coming down to another level, which is the 23.6 Fib on a weekly chart and also a long-term trend line. Okay, and from here it breaks this level really nicely, but notice what it does. It comes down for a retest before going to the next level. It has to make sure it comes back and checks this level again. Then it comes up into our next zone. Then it falls back into our next zone. Then it breaks, you know, gets some consistency, slows down a little bit, but breaks through here, comes in, channels between our next two zones. Then we get a break, and after the break, where does it go? To a trend line, another level. Then we get a huge break, which typically you don't get this good of a breakthrough level, but you get a break, and then what does it do? It sits on a level. Then we had some fundamental stuff that just drove price all the way up, so it wasn't respecting levels too much in here. But notice what happens. Even when it's not respecting levels, you still see well, a few tests here. Then it breaks through. What does it do? It comes back and retests our 50 fib level. Then it sits on this level and, and bounces up. Then it breaks, stalls in here, comes down. What does it do? Retest this level. It's always playing with these levels. These levels are extremely critical. Okay, that's how the market's moving. Now, in between these levels, it's going to do some other stuff. Don't get me wrong. Price is not jump straight from wherever your one zone is to your next zone constantly. But the overall nature of the market is that it's playing these zones. Again, whether it's sideways like this or whether it's trending like this, it's keeping these levels intact. It's checking these levels. Okay, does everyone see that? Does everyone see how price respects and interacts with these levels that we have drawn, these long-term major levels on the market? Okay, now, this is probably not the most revolutionary thing you've ever heard, the fact that price moves through levels. But, we're going to go into a little more detail and explain actually how critical it is and why so many traders are losing by not understanding how the market moves using these levels. Okay, so let's take a little more zoomed in look. Before I said I'll explain why many traders are losing money, th this kind of uh, gives you an idea. What happens is this is a zoomed up look in between levels. So many traders, let's see if I can get my pen here. Sometimes this doesn't work too well, but. So many traders are intraday traders. They're, they're, they're hourly traders or they're four hour traders and they're trading in the middle here. They're trading in here. And what happens is that they're, they're trading in no man's land. They're not trading from one level to the next level. And so they're kind of in no man's land 
where every trade they take is a coin flip or a gamble and because of the spread and because of the market it's impossible to be profitable by taking coin flip trades even if you do have some consistency and you're using good risk management or whatever the case is anything in the middle of these zones that you're just taking on intraday trades is going to get you in trouble because you can't be consistent whereas the good traders are taking a, a step back and they're looking at these longer term levels that doesn't mean that you have to trade on longer term time frames don't misunderstand what I'm saying it means that you recognize the longer levels and instead of just trying to jump in trades in between here and, and hope that it goes to your profit before it hits your stop what they're doing is they're recognizing that price is rejecting this level and it's likely to head toward the next level so they're getting into the market they're hiding their stop behind this level they're putting their target in front of this level and they're dramatically increasing the probability of a trade while still having a good risk reward ratio they're using the levels to their advantage rather than getting caught up in the mess in between here because that's an easy way to trade in, in kind of a gambling approach where you're where you're stuck in between and I hear these traders say oh, okay here guys well, I'm gonna teach you an hourly strategy I'm gonna teach you a four-hour strategy and I guess that makes sense to a certain extent but honestly if you're considering yourself a time frame trader you're off to a really bad start and, and I don't mean to be ignorant but but here's the thing a time frame trader really is, is a terrible way to look at the market because the the time frame is just kind of a way to get a perspective on the market it's not a good way to approach the market what happens on an hourly chart is just you know a zoomed up look it's a it's a to get a different perspective on the overall movement of the market but if you're an hourly time frame trader you know you might be seeing a trend finally start to, to develop in here and you're like okay I'm an hourly trader and you're probably gonna be starting to finally get in long after you see this hourly trend develop at the top of this level right before price gets rejected because there's actually a major level here and what traders who are who are trading on these smaller time frames or um, again not not necessarily you can't trade on a smaller time frame but without recognition of the major moves or the major levels in the market which price is moving to and from then it's an easy way to become an unprofitable trader okay so are you guys following me on what the issue is here on why you need to recognize these levels just put a yes in the box if, you, if you're getting this I'm getting some yeses okay so let me ask you another question how many of you guys have heard I'm sure that many of you you know check websites for education have heard these ideas of um, an hourly strategy or you know looking at you know a four-hour chart or, or just using like one time frame to find a trend and, and then trade that how many of you have heard those type of, of lessons okay that's what I thought for some reason for some reason that's what people are teaching they're teaching these lessons that are extremely limited they don't even teach you how to look at the whole market you can't look at the market on one time frame and expect to understand it I'm not saying that you can't trade on hourly charts I do it all the time but you have to understand how the whole market is working okay yeah see I'm getting a lot of people saying yes me this is totally me I'm I'm just looking at you know, I just got trained on a four-hour strategy okay so this is a zoomed up look this is actually uh, a daily chart here it's just a zoomed up version of the last chart that I showed you yeah before I showed you uh, this full chart and then what I did is I just zoomed up um, on a section of it uh, still on the daily chart okay so this is what this is what is happening to traders they're getting caught in the middle here let me give you another example here's a nice USD CAD four-hour chart and you know a a four-hour trader or a four-hour strategy is gonna say okay hey look we're starting to develop a trend here right and what's gonna happen is they're gonna say okay so we're gonna sell on you know on these bearish they're not gonna even realize that they're in a trend probably to all the way down here because up here you don't know that you're in a trend yet so finally they're gonna start taking cells like down here this is gonna be a nice continuation bar they're gonna take a sell down here and then what happens you know their stop loss is up here and they're immediately rejected on the trade well why did that happen why when the trend was finally going and they finally recognized the trend did they get crushed on the trade more likely than not they probably ran into a major Fibonacci level on a weekly chart or an uptrend on a weekly chart and because they were only looking at one view of the market they didn't even recognize that they were shorting right into a huge major level on a longer time frame chart okay 
So this is something that's happening to people all the time. They're, they're trading on these smaller time frames. They're not recognizing that there's a whole market to understand and they're getting absolutely crushed because that, by the time they finally you know, recognize a trend and jump into an hourly or four hour trade, they're trading against weekly or daily momentum and it's killing them. So what do we do? Well, here, let me show you. What we do is we recognize the longer time frames first. We recognize the major levels on these longer time frames. Again, these zones are coming from weekly charts that we're recognizing. Then, when we see something like this, where price breaks through one level, including a trend line here, and shoots up to retest it, like this did, see this big candle that retests it? We look, okay, we got a retest and rejection. This thing is likely to push price from this level to this level, because that's how the market moves. It pushes price from one level to another level, okay? And again, I'm not saying that you actually have to trade on a, on a larger time frame because actually, you see this is happening in one candle. This is probably going to be found on an hourly chart. You're probably going to enter the trade on an hourly chart, but you recognize the trade. You recognize the opportunities using the longer time frame major levels. And by the way, the way I'm getting these levels is a few different ways. Some of them are Fibonacci. There's a Fibonacci level here that's in this zone. This is a 50 Fib. Those come from a long weekly swing. Other levels are just where price happens to be packed out. So I'm, I'm drawing a zone here because price is really packed in here and again is packed in here. So I'm like, okay, this is a major zone. So I draw a zone here and what do you know? Later on, it turns out that price reacts perfectly off that zone. Down here is another one similar to that, another zone where just based on historic price that we're seeing a zone. At the bottom here is a FIB level. So it's a mixture of FIB levels, historic price, trend lines that we're getting these major levels. Okay, so once you kind of practice looking at the longer time frames and, and getting used to finding these levels, it actually becomes pretty easy. The most important thing to find good trade opportunities is to do your analysis ahead of time. So many traders open their charts that are on an hourly chart and they're like, oh, that looks like a good setup. They execute a trade on an hourly chart as soon as they open their chart before they even you know, went back and planned the entry. One good way to know if you have a good entry is if you've been waiting for it and planning it for a while, okay? If, you, if you've been planning a trade, if you've been saying, man, I can't wait for this trade to develop. It's gonna break this 50 level. It's gonna go toward that 38. As soon as that happens, I'm jumping on that thing because it's gonna be a one to four risk to reward ratio and it's gonna be a high probability trade bouncing from one level to another level, okay? So I'm assuming that probably a lot of you are not big planners on your trades. You might even have a good strategy but you're not planning these trades from basically you know days in advance. And this is kind of one of those paradoxes in trading. I'm not saying that you need to trade on a daily chart. I'm saying that you need to plan hourly trades days in advance, okay? You don't have to trade on a daily chart, but you should be planning your hourly trades days in advance. You should know that this level is a critical level and that thing sets up you're going to take this on an hourly continuation ball with a stop behind the level and a target into your next level. And for those of you guys who, who are unaware, let me just, we're, this, we're using the Forex market here. I'm sure most of you are, are, um, are aware of this, but we're using the Forex market here. We're trading the currencies and we're only looking at, you know, a few major currency pairs. All right, guys. So um, that is basically my sum up on the level aspect of things. Just everyone give me a yes if you're following along with, with this idea of trading from level to level and why it makes so much sense to plan these levels in advance to understand how the market's moving. Awesome. I'm getting streams of yeses. That means you guys are totally with me, and I love to see that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, good. So I think you guys understand that it makes sense to know how the market's going to move if you want to trade profitably. So many traders are buying and selling in the middle here. They have no idea why they're getting stopped out of their trades left and right. Well, if they would have recognized these major levels, it would shed a lot more light on that. Okay, so again, I, I showed you this example. If you were, if you were trading, you know, if, you're, if you had your levels planned out ahead of time, you would never get caught in a trade like this. Now, that does not mean you never lose a trade. Please don't misunderstand that. But let me tell you, you never take a short into a major Fibonacci level on a weekly chart. Okay, so I already asked you this. Uh, if you don't know where the major levels in the market, you have nothing to gauge the market with. You have to be able to gauge the market. 
you have to have some kind of edge. You know, you hear all the time about the Forex market being a no-sum game and how, you know, 4% of traders lose or, or whatever the case is. You have, you hear all these things and there's a reason for that. It's because people are hearing all these crazy strategies that don't even make sense. Sometimes I hear strategies, you know, where people say like, okay, here we're going to take this uh, hourly continuation stra uh, strategy and we're going to use a 25 pip stop and a 50 pip target. Well, why on earth would you use a 25 pip stop loss and a 50 pip target when different pairs move different amounts and levels are at different places in the market? I mean, why would you use random arbitrary numbers when instead you could look at the market and say, okay, I'm going to hide my stop loss behind this major level because that's going to protect me from the market. Okay, how many of you guys have heard those type of strategies? Uh, 50 pip stop, 100 pip target, or we're going to use a 20 pip target and a 10 pip stop, or, or whatever the case is, these arbitrary numbers that literally don't even use the market to their advantage. How would you possibly ex expect to be a profitable trader when you're not even using the market to your advantage, the things that are obviously able to see in the market to your advantage? Okay, guys, these are the reasons that so many traders are unprofitable. This is exactly it. All these, all these strategies, all these thoughts, all these ideas, mostly probably coming from random marketers online who started a Forex website to make money. I mean, I assume that's where most of these strategies are coming from, but they really don't make sense. They don't even use the market to their advantage. If you're not looking at the market, you're sure as heck not gonna be a profitable trader. Okay, so just to sum it up, rather than getting caught in the middle of no man's land and taking trades that are more gambling than trading, we use major levels in the market to stack the odds in our favor. Okay, we're using the the major levels to hide our stop. We're using the major levels to pull price in toward our target. We get into the market just as it's breaking from one level and heading toward another level. Why do we do that? Because price moves from one level to another level. That's how price moves. Why on earth will we not use that to our advantage? Okay, what this does is it gives us high probability trades combined with good risk to reward ratios. Okay. High probability trades combined with good risk to reward ratios. Now, if any of you guys are not familiar with risk to reward ratio, all that means is how much you risk compared to where your take profit is. How much you risk compared to what you're planning on exiting the trade with. If you risk 1%, you should target you know, 2%. Maybe you can target 3 or 4%. Depends on the trade setup. Again, we don't use 25 pip stop and 50 pip target. We use a, a, a stop loss that makes sense behind a level and a take profit that makes sense in front of a level. That way we're stacking the odds in our favor. Okay, so again, let me just ask just, I wanna make sure that we're on the same page because I don't wanna leave people behind on such an important matter. Does this make sense? Does it make sense that you wanna use important levels and use them to your advantage rather than just getting stuck in the middle? Okay, good, we're still on the same page. There's a lot of people in the webinar and so I don't wanna leave you know 200 people behind and go through and just continue on the training because you know this is really important stuff, but it looks like Everyone is with me, which is awesome. Okay. All right. Well, thanks uh, for all the feedback. We're getting a lot of feedback. It looks like this was uh, extremely valuable. And this is Casey again. I'm just jumping in just for a brief minute before Nathan goes on to his next topic. Uh, we are. Um, we've gone a little longer uh, than we were actually planning on this first topic. And that's we, we, we understand your time is extremely valuable, and so we don't want to uh, intrude on that or assume anything. So I would just like to make sure that you guys are, are prepared and ready, and if you want to hear his next topic, uh, which discusses on how you're sabotaging yourself. So uh, if, you're, if you guys want to keep going, uh, please just respond, and if you're ready to, to tackle this next topic which he's Nathan's going to talk about sabotaging himself please we want to get a lot of feedback to make sure you guys are still involved okay all right well fantastic we, we're getting a lot of uh, feedback here and, and as Nathan said this is a, a very full webinar so looks like everybody's hanging in there and learning and and wanting us to keep going all right well good we're going to we, I apologize for going a little long, but we really wanted to make sure you guys got all this, and we're going to um, keep going since you're, you're still into this. Thank you. Okay, so now that we covered you know, one of the really important fundamental concepts about being profitable, I want to talk about one thing that sabotages traders 
net profit. And again, this is something that for some reason is just not being taught in the Forex world. I don't know why people don't touch on this. Um, it, it's something that you really have to have a good understanding of if you want to be a successful trader. Okay, now before I can explain it, first we got to understand what makes a trader profitable. Now, you can determine whether or not a trader is profitable based on two things. If you know two specific stats about a trader, regardless of the strategy, regardless of anything else, you can determine whether he's profitable or not, net profitable or not. Does anyone want to give a, a shot at those two things? Maybe some of you already know where I'm, where I'm going with this. I'll just give you a, a couple seconds if anyone wants to give it a shot, just as kind of an interaction thing. Two things. Well, I see both things, but <laughs> but no one put them in the same thing. Okay, the two things combined that you can determine are his average risk reward ratio through trades, which I see a lot of people are doing, and his winning percentage. And I do, I do see a few people who put that. Okay, awesome. If you if you know someone's winning percentage and you know their risk reward ratio, you can guarantee that you can find out whether it's profitable or not. Someone who wins 60% of trades with a one-to-one, -one, for instance, is profitable. Someone who wins 40% with a one-to-one -one is unprofitable. Okay, here's our little table. This tells you the risk reward that you could trade with and the amount that you would have to win to be break even. Okay, so if you trade with a one-to-one, -one, in other words, if every loss is equivalent to every take profit, you know, average 50 pips or 1% loss and, and 50 pips or 1% gain, then you would have to win 50% to be exactly break even, no net profit. If you trade with a one to two, you only need to win 33% to be break even. One to three, you only need to win 25% to be break even. One to four, you only need to win 20% to be break even. And then I skip some and I say, okay, if you have a one to 10, you only need to win 10% to be break even. Why? Well, let's do it in terms of 100 trades. Okay, let's, let's use the example of one to four. If you take a, 100 trades, right and you win 20 percent then that would be 20 times the four because you're getting four times the amount that you risk 20 times four is equal to 80 and then you lose 80 trades 80 times one is of course 80 okay so those are that that breaks it down everyone following that because first you need to understand that or else the rest won't make sense does everyone understand the relationship there and how you can determine easily if someone's profitable based on just those two things Okay, getting a lot of yeses. Not as many as I was before, though. So, type in yes if you're if you got this, so we can move on. Okay, now I'm getting a ton of yeses. Okay, I had one no or two no's, I think. So let me just briefly recap. If your average risk, say you're averaging 50 pips or one percent, let's say that you risk one percent on every trade. If that is equivalent and and your average risk is exactly what your average take profit is and you average one percent losses and one percent winners then you need to win half your trades and you'll be a break-even trader because it'll average out completely whereas if your average target if you're taking profit and you average three times the amount of risk then you need to win 25 percent because it'll average out again for instance one to three 25 times out of 100 trades you would end up with a 75% of profit. Whereas 75 times one, you'd average with a 75% loss and you'd be break even. Okay, now I didn't go to the higher ones. I think someone mentioned that. But let's say that you were risking 3% to make 1%. Well, then it, the scale would flip. You'd, only, you'd have to win 75% or more of your trades to be profitable. I don't even cover that. Um, our strategy really doesn't incorporate any type of high winning percentage, um, low, uh, low reward compared to risk type strategy because that does, does not correspond uh, with the levels that we're trading. Okay, so that's the basic. Let's go ahead and move on from there. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Casey already said we're going over. Um, now, we love positive risk reward trades because as you just saw on that table, it's a great way to set yourself up for success. The idea of setting up one to three risk reward trades and only needing to win 30% to be profitable is extremely exciting because if you trade one to three, you only need to win 25% to be break even. So if you win 30%, you're going to be very profitable. And that's extremely exciting to think about. And you know, you think to yourself, man, I can win 30% of my trades in my sleep, right? And you've probably heard a lot of, a lot of people teach this. I'm sure that you guys have heard, 
you know, a million different traders teach you this idea of positive risk rewards allow you to win lower percentage trades. But there is a huge catch to this. It's not as simple and as easy as it sounds. So um, what I'm assuming, and I could be wrong, but what I'm assuming is that many people have taught you about the positive risk reward idea, but for some reason they just left out the catch. Is that accurate? Is, has, have you guys not heard? I'm, let's just put yes in the box if, if you've heard the first part but not heard the second part. I'm assuming that's what's happened to a lot of traders, which is just another one of those reasons that we're seeing so few traders be profitable. It's not surprising when you look at the evidence. Okay, again, a ton of yeses, and I'm not surprised. Okay, so the catch is the danger of break-even trades. And actually, this could be not just break-even, but small profits like you're taking partial profits. Now, I have heard a lot of people talk about taking break-even trades, moving your stop to break-even, which can be a good thing. But how many people have heard the danger of break-even trades, have heard the other side, the catch, about not taking or about how break-even trades can sabotage your profit? I'm assuming, again, that a lot of people probably have not heard about this side of things. Now, let me just clarify that I'm not saying that all break-even trades are bad and that you should never take break-even trades, right? So it's not about that it's bad. But what happens is that quickly moving your stop to break even and taking a whole bunch of break even trades is an easy way to kill your profit when you think you're setting yourself up for success. So it's not bad to take break even trades. What's bad is to take a whole bunch of them when you think you're setting yourself up for success. Okay, here's why. Trading with a one to three requires you to win 25% of your trades to be a break even trader. We covered that in the table, right? That makes sense. We all understand that. One to three, you only need to win 25% to be break even. Well, what about the trader who sets up every single trade with a one to three? He sets up every trade with his you know, 25 pip stop loss and 75 pip target, just like some marketer probably taught him online how to do. He sets up every trade with a one to three. And according to his stats, when he looks back at his stats, he wins 40%. But he's still a losing trader. And he's thinking, no, I'm winning way more than 25% of my trades and I'm setting up every trade with a one to three, how am I losing? Okay, so I'd encourage you to pay attention because this could be you. As a matter of fact, this was me for a while. I didn't get this, this was me. Well, we said you only need to win 25% and he's winning 40%, so what's happening? It's that break even trades are killing his results. He thinks he's trading with a one to three, but break even trades are killing his results. Here's what's happening. Okay, 100 trades, 40 wins, 60 losses. Okay, that's 40% winners. Well, out of his 40 winners, his 40%, probably 25 of those trades are break even because all these strategies teach you how to slide your, your, uh, your stop up to break even right away. And what ends up happening is that you put yourself at like an 80% risk to get stopped out at break even. So what ends up happening is that he only has 15 real winners, even though his stats are showing 40 winners. 15 times his 3% because he's trading with a one to three is 45%. His break-even trades, of course, are not netting him anything, and maybe those are small profits, so maybe they're netting a few percent, but right around zero. But guess what? His losers are still full losers. For some reason, everyone limits their profits, and they take small profits, but they're always taking full losses. I've never really met a trader who's struggling, um, but not taking full losses. They always take full losses, right? And so what ends up happening? Well, you see it right here, a big net loss because you're taking full losers, but you're not taking full winners. Okay, so we're not saying that you can't take break-even trades, but we need to educate you on the effect of taking break-even trades. If you understand the effect, then you can actually you know, accurately calculate what you need to do to be profitable. Rather than thinking that you're setting yourself up with profit, you, know, you won't be thinking that you're setting every trade up with one to three and still be unprofitable. Now you'll know what you actually have to do to be profitable. Okay, so let me give you a quick example this goes back to the strategy. Let me just try to do this real quick again because we're taking a lot of time. You know, what we do is we trade with zones. We have a zone here and we have a zone here, right? And when price breaks one zone and starts heading toward another zone, we're trying to capture the move in between these two zones, right? Well, what we do is we set our stop behind this zone and our target right in front of this zone because that gives us the highest probability. Other traders, as soon as they get up a little bit in profit, they're sliding their stop right up in front of this, in front of their entry to be at break even. Well, what's happening is that they're putting their stops up here where price is very likely to come back and retest this area before going up. Price loves to retest these major zones. And when you slide your stop in front of a zone, 
what are you doing? You're putting your stop loss at a high probability of getting stopped out at break even. Okay? No one wants to get a high probability of getting out with less profit than what they anticipated. You're setting yourself up with nice profit potential up here. Why would you go and sabotage that by moving your stop to break even? Okay, now you can move your stop to break even, but here's how you should move your stop to break even. Let me give you another example. You set up a trade, it's going into profit, you get up. What happens, maybe in the middle here, it kind of develops another area, and then it starts going up. Okay, so your target's up here. Now, you can move your stop to break even because there's another level to hide behind. Okay, now you can move your stop. Okay, does that make sense? Because now you have something to protect your stop. Here, there's nothing to protect your stop. You're just sliding it in because you don't want to lose a trade. Well, the fear of losing a trade is causing you to take a ton of break evens, and what's happening is a lot of times it's stopping you out for break even, and then it's going up toward your target. How many of you guys have had a trade stop you out for break even and then soar right towards your target? Okay, not surprisingly, I'm getting a lot of yeses once again. Now that is happening because you're not using things to protect your stop loss. You're just moving it to, to get your risk off the table because you're afraid of losing a trade. And you know what, guys? I take break-even trades, but I don't take a lot of them. The reason I don't take a lot of them is because I just put risk on the table. I just risked my money for profit potential. The only reason I risk money is so that I can make money. Why would I then go and 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 slide my stop up to, to break even and and give myself a 90% chance or something to get stopped out where my risk then had no value? What value does that risk have if you end up taking a trade for break even? It has no value. That means that you just put risk on the table. You just risked your hard-earned dollars for absolutely no reason whatsoever because you get, you choked out your trade and didn't give it any chance to get to get toward the profit potential, which is the whole reason you're taking the trade in the first place. The only reason you should ever take a trade is for profit potential. Why then would you go choke out your profit potential by aggressively sliding your stop up for no reason other than out of fear or something that you won't get a loss? Fear, exactly right. Some people are saying fear. You're, you're exactly right. That's why what we do is we set up our stop loss with a 1% or a 2% risk, depending on your strategy, and we leave it there until there's a good place to move it. We don't move it just to get, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that I'm going to you know, get stopped out. No. If you're afraid to get stopped out, close your account and quit trading because you're going to lose trades. What we do is we set up a trade with a certain amount of risk. We understand that we're risking that trade, and we're okay with risking that because we're going to make two or three or four times that amount if it hits our take profit. Okay, so you know, someone said, well, what if it turns to a big loss? Well, it shouldn't be a big loss. It should be a 1% or 2% loss because that's where your stop loss is. And let me tell you guys, if you think that if following our strategy means that you'll never get up nicely, you know, 1% or 2% or in profit and then end up with a loser, uh, well, that's not true. You, we still end up with losers after we're up nicely. But what happens in the long run is that your risk to reward, instead of being a 1% to 0.8% because of all the small, tiny profits you took, it's a 1% to 2 or a 1% to 3% and winning 30 or 40% of your trades makes you immensely profitable. And how many of you guys want to be immensely profitable? If you do, I would highly encourage you to take this seriously. Excuse me, to take this seriously and to move your stop loss for a reason, not just to not just out of fear to, you know, get rid of the to get rid of the risk on the trade and then end up sabotaging your own profit. Okay, so type yes in the box if you want to quit sabotaging your own profit. Hopefully I get, you know, 800 yeses here because you should, that should be number one on the agenda if you want to be a profitable trader, should be to quit sabotaging your profit. Okay, so I got all the yeses there. There's a massive stream of yeses. Okay, so question number two. How many of you understand that this, what I just showed you, will help you quit sabotaging your profit? Okay, so now I know that you want to. How many of you understand that this is what's going to help you do that? All right, awesome. Okay, so again, I'm getting a, a ton of yeses, and that makes me thrilled. That makes me feel like I did my job as far as presenting this training. Okay, guys, so our suggestion, go ahead, take the risk off the table when it's appropriate, but never choke out a trade. Don't ruin your chances of hitting a profitable trade when you've already done the work of putting the risk on the table and setting up a good trade, why on earth would you go through the trouble of putting a good trade on the table, risking your hard-earned money, 
and then choke it out and don't even give it a chance to to hit your take profit. That is totally, uh, you know, illogical when it comes to trading. And again, for some reason, people aren't teaching this. They're oh, take the risk off the table. Hurry up, take the risk off the table. No, don't take the risk off the table. You have risk on the table for a reason, so that you can hit a good take profit. Okay, not only does it hurt your risk to reward, but it also means that you put put risk on the table for absolutely no reason. You just wasted your time because you're taking break even trades for no reason. Okay, so that's about it um, for my part. Um, I think Casey's going to show you some things about being consistent. Okay, thanks, Nathan. Uh, so that was great training. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that because I was sitting right here beside Nathan. We're in the same office, and I have to admit I enjoyed that a lot because um, the way he presents it and just the uh, information uh, that that came across. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is some of the tools that we use uh, to accomplish some of these things, and specifically the break-even trade that Nathan's talking about and how to plan our levels out and how to, that we know what point to move those levels or what point to move our stop loss to break even because we don't want to do it too early just because you know like oh I'm 10 pips ahead you know that type of thing so what I'm gonna do is show you some tools that we actually developed um, that's going that that we created to help us with that because you know what uh, if you guys have ever traded Forex MT4 is the platform that that Forex traders generally use not everybody not every trader but a lot of them and so you know MT4 is a little bit clunky it's it can be difficult to use and so we were um, sometimes we'd be getting into trade and we're like oh my we needed to move the stop loss at that point uh, but it was so difficult and we might not be in front of the charts and also you know the 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 stop losses to move them in the charting platform you actually have to go in and type out the numbers and you have to use your magnifying glass to see the small number on the screen and then you have to find it on the keyboard and type it out and it takes a lot of time so you know Nathan and I were talking one day about how we can develop tools because you know what anybody who is a professional has tools you know we were using the analogy of a, a carpenter has their their bag of tools that they use in order to get the job done and traders are the same way so we developed some tools and uh, you, you can see uh, what one of our tools is we call it the epic trade manager uh, what it does is it automatically cal calculates the trade size for us based on our stop using the risk level we desire extremely valuable we don't have to type anything in we don't have to use the keyboard it's all done with the mouse it also allows your to drag your stop loss and take profit it automatically locks profit in at levels that we set up and uh, it displays our risk and profit in the chart so we can see how our trades performing and it also allows us to have a hidden stop as well uh, so that the broker does not know where our stop is and which can be extremely valuable as well uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you for a couple minutes um, exactly what our tool does just to show you how how we personally get an edge in our trading uh, so here's the tool right here it's called epic and what it does is it draws lines on your chart uh, so that you can so that you can um, take the trades without actually putting your stop losses in so you can see there's different different um, icons here there's P line, whoops. There's uh, P lines, which is for pending orders, and then there's M lines for market orders. And then over at the bottom, you see where it says buy and sell, which has different orders as well, which allows you to enter and execute the trade with just by dragging the the tool. So I'm going to go ahead and, and show you exactly how it works here by clicking it and dragging it, and then it draws out three lines. And this is how to do a pending order here. So this red line shows the stop loss, and so you just drag it to wherever you want the stop loss to be. This blue line will do the take profit. Um, and 
if this is for a pending order, so you know how Nathan was talking about this is why setting up your trade in advance is very powerful. So let's say we have a level drawn in, um, so and we're looking for for the entry. So let's just say that right up here at the top is the level. So let's say you're looking for a retrace. This is a nice level. We're going okay. When the price gets here, I'm thinking it's going to short. So that's the pending line, and then you just put your stop loss right in here. And you say, okay, I want it right above these little candles here. And then you would want your profit down here. And so then you just click the cell, and then you drag it, and it will give you a confirmation box. And you don't have to have the confirmation. That's just one thing that we like just in case. And then it will put the order in. Okay, and then it calculates your risk on your trade and your stop loss and your take profit. So I've got it set up so it's automatically doing 1% risk and you can set that level at whatever you want. So uh, this tool is very helpful for us so that we don't have to use the risk calculator, like take our calculators out and say, okay, it's 15 pips. It's good to understand how that works, and 15 pips times four point lots is, is the right size. It's good to understand the math behind it, but this does all that for us. Um, so I'm gonna actually um, hide those lines and then you can put the lines back up or you can hide them and I'm gonna I'm gonna um, go to another chart now and show you how that works on another chart as well so let's go ahead and take a look at the euro dollar here that's not the or let's take a look at the odd okay so now I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna add the lines and I'm just gonna show you another aspect of the tool that's very interesting and so I'm going to actually take a trade here. So I'm going to take a long trade just for practice because this is a demo account. Um, so I'm just going to click the buy and then I'm going to drag it. And then it's got the, it should take the trade right away. There it is. It's got the entry. It's, you can see the stop loss is there, six pips. The target is 36. I'm going to drag this a little bit so you can see how it moves. So I'm going to drag the stop loss. It asks me if I want to drag it. And then there it did. It moved my stop loss. Now, one of the things that we that Nathan was talking about was moving your target at a certain level, right? So I'm just going to show you that we have a level drawn here. Um, at this point, if it breaks, if it breaks this level, I'm going to draw a fib. So we'll have this fib, right? And so we'll say if it goes to the, the 50 fib, I know that this is a serious trade and that it just crossed the next level. So what I'm going to do is add the break-in point. So there's a tool called lock-in and what that will do is if the price gets to the 50 Fibonacci point, which is one of the levels we're talking about, not moving your stop just because you're in profit, but moving it because you're at the level. So now if you can see the price, if the price gets to this green line is the trigger, it will then move my stop to break even. And we believe that that's enough room to move the stop at break even because it just crossed the last level. And so we're not moving it to break even just because we feel like it, but because it moved to the levels. We know the market moves in levels, and that's why we're moving our stop. Now, um, so, so we developed those tools. We're professionals. We want to have professional tools. And, you know, we're just sharing that with you because we feel like this is an extremely valuable thing to you know to let you know that it exists and because we use this in our own trading now this tool does a lot of other stuff I'm just very briefly explaining it to you now just some of the key features and the main reason was because Nathan was talking about breaking your stops in and I thought that I would share that with you and the reason one of the reasons that this tool is so valuable like especially with this lock-in point is because now we're not in front of the chart where we went home for the night it hits our because we don't trade at night we trade during the day it hits our target in the middle of the night or it moves our stop can be moved automatically. By the way, guys, another really critical thing about the tools is just the idea of the consistent risk. You know, I talked about risk to reward and um, and what percentage you would need to win. Well, that's assuming that you're using consistent risk, that you're risking, you know, one or two percent on every trade. And I know that a lot of traders are either kind of using a random lot size or they're just kind of making it up as they go. They're putting, you know, whatever they feel like trading on that given trade, they go ahead and put that in. 
And that really is an easy way to hurt you. As a matter of fact, you know, you can be profitable in pips and have a good risk reward ratio and have enough trades won. But if your size is kind of random, then who knows if you'll be profitable. It's just kind of like flipping a coin. And so this is a really nice way to consistently be profitable every time. Uh, this is actually a tool that we just finished recently um, that we put the touches on. We've been working on kind of different versions of it for, I don't know, years. Um, but we just put the finishing touches on this one where it does everything from the same chart, including pending orders and all that. So uh, we're actually, it's really not for sale. Um, we're going to be giving it to like our mentor students um, and, and some private groups, but it's not really for sale. But um, it's used for our personal training to do things like that, help us consistently with our risk, help us set up trades like Casey's saying before we go home for the night. You know, maybe we have, um, maybe we have a trade like this. Here, let me give you an example. Maybe we have a trade where we have a major level up here. Oh, it's probably not staying because I'm not on the thing here. Let's do this. Let's do it this way. Okay, we have a major level up here. We have a major level down here. And what we want to do is trade from this level to this level. And we, we're going to get in this trade, right, going up. Well, there might be a little minor level in between that we're a little bit worried about. We're not going to let it stop us, but there's a little level in the middle that we're worried about. Well, just like Casey said, okay, if it gets to that level, you know, it could turn price around. We'll go ahead and put our break-even point here just to protect us while we're not watching the charts during the London session. And so this is something that is really valuable. You know, Casey talked about doing things with a purpose, just like what I was talking about. You don't just want to go, you know, throw in break-even trades randomly. You want to do things with a purpose. And so that tool helps us, you know, do things with, with a strategic purpose um, to help our trading. And so it's a pretty cool thing. It allows you to be consistent, like we talked about, in terms of the risk to reward. Um, so we just wanted to give you kind of an example of something we do to help ourselves stay consistent and use these, you know, these kind of edges like we've been sharing with you. All right. So let's keep on. Let's keep on going. All right. So now I want some honest feedback from from all the attendees here. Uh, we want to know because we're we want to put together the best training. That's really our goal, and we want to help people by giving them information that they just can't get anywhere else. And so my question is. It's a two-part question. Was this presentation helpful? And do you think that this information can help you be more profitable? So if the answer is yes or no, just give us some honest feedback and some comments because we really want to hear from you. We want to do the very best for you guys because that's why we're here. It's the whole purpose. So if you explain to us that we're helping, and we've done this before, so we're just getting better and better at helping you. That's what we do. Um, so good good well you know what honestly we're getting a lot of good feedback here excellent so thank you so much uh, for attending today and thank you for for giving some good feedback and we are extremely thankful that we're able to help you alright so now uh, as we're getting the the feedback I want to go ahead and talk to about our special offer today and we put together something that's really valuable for you guys and you know I just want to state before we even go into the offer if you just came for the free training and you don't want to hear about our offer and that's fine you can go ahead and leave now uh, we thank you for for coming um, you know what but we believe in learning from professionals and investing in yourself and but we're only gonna present this offer if you guys want to hear what the offer is so go ahead we're gonna ask you do you want to hear what our offer is what special extra training we've developed for you guys do you are you is anybody in here interesting we're only gonna present it if you're interested otherwise we're just gonna end the webinar right now all right well this is fantastic uh, because there's a, still a lot of people in this training and we're getting a lot of feedback um, you know so about two thousand people signed up today and the room only holds a thousand and we've got a lot of people uh, in in the training today and I'm so glad that we're able to present this training to such a, a large group and it's just been growing over time because we've been helping so many people and, and we've truly helped a lot of people get to that next level and that's what we're all about for you guys trying to help you get to the next level okay so what we've done and uh, Nathan feel free to jump in any time during this part 
uh, we've taken our strategy and our tools and we put them together in a complete training package because we want to teach you all the details that we couldn't begin to approach in this short webinar. You know what? We wanted to give you the best of what we had, but we still have so much more. We couldn't do it all in a, in a webinar. We've been t teaching for about an hour, and we still have hours and hours and hours of, of additional things. Um, so the goal for our training is that you'll know step by step how to trade exactly like we do. So we're talking about everything, even how we make our profits and enter our trades and our stops and everything. Uh, so we believe that it's the best possible solution for someone looking to profit with their trading. The most important thing to remember is that it's easier to be taught and trained by someone who's a professional. You might know how to trade, but the pros know the little tricks that you just can't get on your own. You know, it starts out with what I was talking about at the very start, how I was trained by two professional traders, and Nathan has been trained by me and other professionals. I mean, I even took him to the Traders Expo so that he could have complete access to other professional traders. That, this is essential in learning from those that have gone before you. There's a transfer of knowledge that comes place. Little tricks that you just can't get on your own. And that's what we're offering to you is learning from from us and sharing everything, the stuff that you just can't get from learning on your own. So here's, we're introducing now something that we're calling the winner's circle. And Nathan actually wants to explain why we call it the winner's circle because it's a, a great reasoning behind it. Okay, cool. I just wanted to talk about this because I kind of came up with the idea of the winner's circle. So I kind of want to brag on the idea of it. I thought it was pretty cool. Basically, we thought, you know, I thought in developing something that we want to develop something that actually helps traders be profitable. There's a lot of stuff out there, honestly, guys, that's, that's good, but it doesn't really take you um, from unprofitable to profitable. And so I was thinking, okay, how, what, what exactly is this going to be? And my thought was, well, let's put together all the training, all the material that we do, and with the goal being to help people get out of that losing crowd that we've talked about already, you know, kind of the losing crowd of the people who hear from marketers and don't understand how the market moves. Let's help grab a few people. We know that not, there's not going to be, you know, a ton of people who are interested in this. Many people aren't willing to invest in themselves to do that. But let's, let's find a way to grab people out of that 95 or 96 or whatever the stats say from the losing crowd and bring them into the winner circle because there really is only a few people or a few percentage, I should say, in the winner circle when it comes to trading profitably. And by the way, for those of you asking, uh, it is Forex. We trade, we specialize in Forex. We do other types of investments, but this is what this is where our heart is. This is where all of our blood, sweat, and tears has gone into is to trading uh, the Forex. Okay, so that's what the winner circle is. Um, again, we don't want to put pressure on you if if you're interested in just doing some of the free training and stuff like that. Uh, that's totally different. This is for people. Who are really serious about kind of you know merging their way out of that out of that 95 96 percent and being one of the people uh, who are in the winner circle so what we talk about and what we teach you is our fundamental concepts which is partly what we did today we talked about key Nathan talked about key fundamental concepts then we go into it with strategy also software and also, we're going to do live trades. Oh, we didn't tell them to get the software for Did we say that? Oh, so the tools are that we showed you is included in the winner's circle. Uh, the tools that we developed, we're going to be throwing that in. And I'll, I'll go through all that. And, uh, and we're going to be covering this key core curriculum plus so much more in addition to uh, some bonuses as well. So the t course is going to be a video course with Nathan and I'm going to be talking about our pricing here in a minute but I just wanted to explain a few things. And we recently saw another trader release his video course for $5,000. Now his course was very good um, and we we actually took a look at it because we wanted to see what he was doing and how he was helping people but we realized that it didn't give the complete picture of how to be profitable like ours does so we've gone in and we've really taken it and went to the next level um, but another trader who's doing something very similar was charging five thousand dollars 
Now, I want to talk about our bonus, which is the tools. So the first bonus, you get the video curriculum and the training, but then we have the bonus, which we use for our own trading, our tools. We call it Epic Trade Manager. It's for our trading, and we don't sell it. And the value of this tool is extremely high because we paid a lot of money to create this. We paid programmers and time and development. It's our sweat. It's our money, it's our lifestyle, everything that we've really done, we've poured into this tool. And it's extremely valuable to us, and we don't sell it. And I looked around for something like it on the internet, and there's nothing there, nothing at all. So you can't buy this thing. Uh, so to me, the value of that is is extremely high, and it makes it hard to do it, put a value on it. But due to market research that I've done on other software and tools out there I put a an actual value on three thousand dollars based on market research and I'm talking tools that hedge funds have had big banks tools that the average trader doesn't have access to you know this is an actual price price tag that it could be sold for if we were selling it uh, in addition another bonus that we wanted to give you just to make it over the top and to give you guys extreme value and to take your training and education to the next level is a free ticket to our live event, which we're teaching in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're going to be selling tickets to the event for $997, and we're adding that at a no cost to you for those of you that want to get into the winner's circle today. If you want to join the winner's circle, we're going to be giving you access to our live event where you can come and meet us live and in person, which is at a value of $997. And we're also throwing in another bonus of a live webinar with Nathan, who's going to be training the strategy live. He's going to give some additional training and also answer all your questions. And this event is priced at a value of $499. So, uh, and lastly, the last bonus we've got is we've negoti negotiated a deal with our broker, ILQ, which is to pay back 0.5 pips to you on every trade you make. And, you know, for that's the pip is the spread, and we've negotiated to get a part of that back. And we don't make any money. It's not like we're getting kicked back on accounts. Uh, we're doing this totally for you, not for us at all. But we just wanted to give it another bonus. If you take advantage of this, you could make $200 a month just by trading with your spread rebate. And after trading for a full year, that's $2,400 of income to you. Not to mention the profits that you get from trading. So if you add that $2,400 plus the trading profits, it could be a very nice bonus. Okay, so the total value, including all the bonuses of this package is eleven thousand eight hundred ninety six dollars and some of you might be thinking oh that's a lot of money but you know what and it is but you gotta put things into perspective perspective is incredibly important uh... you gotta think of the cost of education you know doctors can spend from hundred fifty thousand to six hundred thousand on education and then after that they'll make about fifty thousand dollars as a resident for four years before they begin making a six-figure salary and nathan is going to talk to you uh, about why medical school is so expensive, but when you think about the value of education, that this eleven thousand dollars can give you a potential to be making similar income that a doctor makes, and yet the cost, the or the value is eleven thousand dollars. The value is actually much higher than that when you think of other types of education. So truly, our value that we're tagging is eleven thousand eight hundred ninety-six, but really. I put the value much higher than that. But Nathan's going to talk a little bit about why medical school is so very expensive. Yeah, well, I just thought it would be something that I could talk about um, because one of my friends, Ben, actually, we just had a, a huge discussion about this. And um, he's in his last year of residency, actually, as a doctor. He's uh, a little bit older than me, but um, he's in like around $600,000 worth of debt. He went to a really good school. And what's nice is that as soon as he finishes his residency, his first job is probably going to be around a quarter million dollars. He's probably going to make around two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. But you know, we were talking, and I'm I'm thinking, you know, why would anyone take out six hundred thousand dollars worth of loans like that? I mean, that's kind of sabotaging yourself. It's honestly, uh, it's honestly crazy to think about. But the reason, you know, why why it's so expensive, is because it's something that sets you up to make a lot of money for the rest of your life. So anything that is going to set you up to make a lot of money for the rest of your life. Um, 
is extremely expensive. And so that's why these things have value. You know, if we were kind of discussing, I was saying, you know, here you are, you're going to make a big salary and everything, but, you know, I I left college to work here to be part of the Winner's Edge team. I have no debt. You know, I don't know, I don't know anything from my education, and I'm making a lot of money. So it's kind of, you have to put things in perspective. I mean, if you want to be a doctor, then you want to be a doctor. I'm not, not discouraging that. But it's just kind of interesting to think, you know, um, you can be a trader, you can have a, you know, probably a smaller investment in yourself and make a lot of money and really have, you know, technically unlimited profit potential. Um, or you could go a more traditional route and the investment is a lot bigger and it takes a lot more time. And then when you kind of finish that, uh, that education time, you're in quite a bit of debt and you're probably, you know, 10 years old or two if you're going to med school. Yeah, and uh, so it's valuable because they're going to make money. You know, medical school, you're going to make money, and it's worth it to them to put that investment in. So, you know, when you put it in perspective, it's truly uh, an incredible value. And I think it's actually, I just put some numbers on I think it's worth much more than that. And I know people that have paid much more than $11,000 to learn to trade. Much, much, I mean, w much more than that. Not to mention the time and sweat involved. And this is, the winner's circle gives you a shortcut to making that move to the winner's circle. Uh, so we're not going to charge uh, 11000 because we want to give you the best value. And the price of the service is actually $3,997. Uh, and, you know, I want to talk a little bit about the principle of investing in yourself. Now, investing in yourself is so critical because if you're not willing to put the money into yourself, then you're not willing to make yourself better. You know, you can get free education online, and that's great stuff. You can go to babypips.com or even to Winner's Edge Trading and follow Nathan on his daily analysis, and that's really good. But you know what? You're not going to jump into the winner's circle without putting the investment in yourself. I'm a person that takes the time and I invest in myself. And I'm actually going to tell you a, a little story about something that I did. You know, when I first started my, my website, uh, I, was, I didn't know anything about running a business. I was sharing my trades on a blog and that's all I was doing I had no plans to start a business and people came to me and they said can you please teach us to trade can you please put together a product can you put and I got multiple requests to do that and so after some consideration I said okay I'm gonna do this but I don't know how to do it I don't know how to market a product I don't know how to sell a product so I found an internet guru and uh, his name was Jeff Walker and he was selling a product for $2,000 and his product was on how to put together products and how to sell them and how to put them together online. So me being a trader who has a trader's blog went and I paid money to learn how to do this to put together products online so that I could do it for you guys and so that I could run a business. I'm not shy about the fact that I have multiple streams of income trading and running a business. I'm being upfront. That's what I do. And people ask me to do it. I'm providing a valuable service. So I went ahead and I paid the $2,000 and you know what? It was the best $2,000 that I ever spent. I went through a lot of education and I went through the training and I would have paid 10 times that because I took that $2,000 that I'm that I spent on the product and I made that money back in a matter of weeks by following the techniques that he taught that I would have never learned on my own and so investing in yourself is valuable I'm willing to invest in my children look I have eight children if I send each one of those kids to college I could be spending eight a hundred thousand on each one of them I'm willing to spend eight hundred thousand dollars on my children education and I've spent money on myself shouldn't you be thinking about investing in yourself but I just want to say that we are actually, since the Winter Circle is brand new, we're having it on sale today for $2,400. So we're, we're, we are cutting this $39.97 price point to $2,400. Now, you know, there were many people that, were, that want access to this. Many people want to get into the Winter Circle, but only the few that are willing to invest in themselves and take action, those are going to be the ones that are going to be able to access. So we're actually limiting this uh, to the first 100 traders and there were 2,000 people that signed up so obviously not everybody's going to be able to get it at this price. This price is only available for the first 100 traders that take advantage of this offer. So what we're going to go ahead and do, <laughs> hey 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, children are a blessing. It's fantastic. Um, but anyways, I, I just had to answer Kevin. He says I'm crazy for having eight kids. But, uh, hey, I'm blessed, and it's, it's a good thing. Um, so anyways, we got a great sale. We, we think that the price is right. We think that the training's right. We want to invite you in to going into the winner's circle. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the chat box now, and we're going to go ahead and just keep talking um, and sharing some great value points that you can consider. Do you have anything to add on some of the things that we were talking about, Nathan? Um, no, I mean, I think the value is there. I think what we talked about is pretty clear, and there's going to be, you know, 80 or 90 percent, probably about the same percent who are not profitable that just have no interest and that is okay honestly guys that, that doesn't offend us you know if we don't sell anything to you today um, we're gonna be okay um, but I think that there's probably you know based on how many people are still in this webinar there's probably a good group of people who are really interested in taking that step and so for those of you that you know for the group that I'm talking to um, I think that's pretty awesome I think twenty four hundred dollars considering I just read that the you know average tax refund was like three thousand dollars I think twenty four hundred is a pretty uh, pretty fair deal to get you started in something that can really um, set you up to you know to make an income for the rest of your life so um, when we talk about value I mean I don't think that we could really um, put more value out there for twenty four hundred dollars that's you know that's all I have to say right and like you said you know the average tax refund is about twenty nine hundred it's tax time it's a great investment the education is worth it and I just gotta say for those of you guys you know there's a common perception about traders and a lot of it is that they will go and they'll get all the free training and they're they'll go in and and they'll try these different webinars and systems but they're not willing to put the money in themselves uh, I just read an article about um, you know guys that just they were they go in they call them tire kickers and they don't want to put the money to actually do something for themselves well I'm telling you guys just reward yourself and if you do it for you do it for your family. Do it so that you can, you know, it really improve and make yourself better. My goal in life as a person is to always be improving. I want to be improving every single day of my life. I always feel like I have something more to learn and something else to, to work on in my personal life. You know, they say that being a reader is a leader, and I am buying books and reading and educating myself constantly. So for those of you that are on the same course as that, as improving yourselves, then this is for you. For those of you guys that don't want to improve yourselves, well then, you know, you can, I hope you enjoyed the free training today. Uh, so let me show you exactly how you can participate, and we'll be standing by to answer all the questions. Remember, you get the tools as the bonus, the training, the live event, all of that is included. But what you do is, I put a link in the chat box. You can just go ahead and click on that link and go ahead and order. I'll show you the page that will bring up. You can see here that um, if you can see my screen, there's a, a selection method. You just type that link in. It's orders.winnersedgetrading.com. It's in your chat box. You can click it or you can just type it straight in. And you select your payment method and you go ahead and check the terms here and then you go ahead and just click yes let me in and then it will take you to the the payment section so it's pretty simple there it is that's PayPal you can either pay with PayPal or you can pay with credit card the choice is yours and what we're gonna go ahead and do now is stand stand by and answer any questions that you might have Nathan and I and we're we're extremely excited to be welcoming welcoming people into our system today so please if you have any questions don't hesitate to put them in the box we'll answer all questions you may have okay the first uh, question was about the payment plan uh, for us we, we just did it as a one-time payment again kinda of because like the idea of it being less than the, the tax refund and and things like that we thought okay you know there's probably um, you know most people have a credit card that they can use you know the credit card as a payment plan um, we just kinda went with the one one payment there's really not uh, too much of a rhyme or reason just because we thought you know it's not twenty thousand dollars it's twenty four hundred dollars so um, a one-time payment is is what we went with there 
Uh, yeah, what we're going to do, uh, it's kind of like one of the bonuses that we talked about that we just kind of thought of is I'm going to go ahead and record trades from now on as I'm taking live trades, and I'm going to post them in the winner circle so you know exactly uh, how I'm taking trades and you can learn from the way I do it. Um, and then also maybe like uh, I'll also be posting opportunities ahead of time as well. So kind of a mix of both of those things. Oh, someone had a question about the tool. Uh, the tool, Joseph, is a tool that we developed and created for MT4. Um, it's actually done as an expert, invi expert advisor excuse me, to manage your trades. And so uh, it's not an add-on necessarily. It's, a, it's an expert advisor that we built for our own personal trading. So, uh, you know, we are excited to be taking people in today and just wanted to say that uh, we have a lot of questions and there's a lot of people in here so if we don't get to your question right away don't don't worry just repost it we're gonna be handling all questions we understand that this is a big decision uh, that you will be making and we're looking forward to inviting you in but be persistent and we will get to every single question don't hesitate if you have questions, if you're thinking about joining, please go ahead and put it in. Uh, we're glad that we're able to help you out with your training today. Okay, the trading platform we use for trading is uh, called MetaTrader 4. It's not a proprietary platform. Now, the we've developed custom tools for that platform, which we call the Epic Trade Manager. That is um, included. The Epic Trade Manager is included. It's not included with the trade with MT4, but it's included with the Winner Circle. It's uh, a program that we've designed and developed for our personal trading that we're willing to share with those that come into the winner's circle. Someone was asking how long the training lasts. Uh, what we do is we go through and teach you our complete strategy and all the details and it's a video course so that you will be able to take the, tra uh, the training at your own pace. You'll be able to go over the, the training as many times as you would like and you'd be able to go through it as long as it takes you. Uh, how long does it last though it should you should be able to get through it in you know probably a month of really going through and pouring through it and of course we'll be always be adding bonuses as well so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that link out there again so that you guys can uh, take a look at the order page if anybody has any trouble accessing the order page uh, please let us know and we will work you through that uh, it's orders.winnersedgetrading.com, and I went ahead and put it in the chat box right there.
Okay, um, let's see here. Uh, there's a name here I don't understand. It says Javid. Uh, Javid, you said that is available. I'm not sure I understand your question. So we still got 115 people, and we got to figure out what we should need to say here to get. What do we do here? I'm remembering what Zach said. He said a no is a definite maybe. Yeah. So what do we need to do here to stir some things up? Think. Let's think real quick. Um, okay. All right. So um, I have a question for all of you guys that are still here. Um, my question is, out of all the people that are still in the in the you know, training today, and there's quite a few, how many of you s would be interested in joining the winner's circle? How many of you, does that sound like it would fit you, like you want to be part of the 5% that is profitable? How many of you have an interest in going to the next level of your training? Just go ahead and type in a yes if that's you. Sure. Uh, Karen was asking if we can go over the bullet points of what's included. Uh, so I'll go ahead and go back. Let's see. Go to slide 43. Okay. So what we in we include is all of our training, and you know, for those of you that saw the training, you know, you guys can understand the value of it. I mean, we just really gave you guys some stuff that was worth some money. I mean, we took the time to show, give you some of our best stuff, uh, and our our course is full of things that are just will absolutely blow you away as to how you didn't know this before, and it will truly take you to the next level. So the fundamental concepts, our strategy, our software, and we'll be giving you live trade examples, and um, you know every single thing that you need to be a, a a profitable trader is included because we want to take you by the hand and put you through the process and teach you step by step. A lot of times people don't give you the step by step, um, but we, we're we doing that. And so that's pretty much everything that's included, plus bonuses, a live event so you can be with us in person, um, a live webinar following up. The ability to trade and get paid for your trading with a opening an account with our broker ILQ 0.5 spread, um, a spread rebate. So you know, with all of our bonuses and everything that's included, the value is at about eleven thousand eight hundred and something, some change, ninety six dollars or something like that. When we added it all up, I mean, uh, it's got a lot of value, and you know, we dropped the price to twenty four hundred as a sale. And we truly didn't feel like we could lower it any more than that because we just couldn't undersell what we're doing. We couldn't sell ourselves short. Well, Bruce, uh, that's 
great to know, and I wish you the best. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I hope that uh, that you could learn a lot for that. Yeah, James, uh, if you're losing money right now in Forex, you've got to really be careful and take the steps necessary. You know, you don't want to put yourself in a bad situation financially and, you know, lose money that you can't afford to lose, especially if you're not working. So, you know, take, take precaution there and set yourself up for success. Do whatever you can. Alright, so is there any more questions that, it, that you guys have on, you know, the pro program, on, you know, what we're offering, any questions about, you know, how to enter in with us, you know, anything at all, anything that's on your mind, we're here to, to answer for you.
All right, guys. Um, you know what? We're going to – questions are coming – are winding down. So we're going to go ahead and close it up. I am going to give one last call for people that are interested in joining. Uh, the link is orders.winnersedgetrading.com. I'll post it in the chat box. And also uh, one last call for questions as well. If anybody has any more questions, just let us know. I'll post in the, post in the link. All right then. Uh, thank you all. This was a great, uh, great webinar, and hopefully we'll be having more of these in the future. So if you liked it, uh, remember how how much how good it was, and you know please come to the next one because we'll be talking about different techniques as well. this thing here it says available position 800 weekly get back for more details it's about ready to reply to him I don't know what that means it means he can give me a job pay me 800 a week you really took me out we need that <laughs> okay so I'd have to go over the stats again but I think it's conclusive that we didn't convert very well <laughs> yeah I, the stats will be. Um, I don't think this re recorded either. I think.